Good day. I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Having a look at the Savata pack straps and different ways we can attach the Savata FDF sleep roll to the Savata medium size Yakri backpack. First of all, the straps, they come in two different lengths, 80 centimeters and 120 centimeters. The 80 weigh, if I believe, let me check. Yep, the 80 weigh in at 40 grams each, if you're worried about the weight, and the 120s weigh in at 50 grams each. Let's put that one down. The buckles, the quick release buckles on these I do like these ones. They've got a nice strong click into place and easily undone even if you've got gloves on. No messing around, no fiddly. Nice and strong and the bite, the actual webbing strap with no slip. A lot of uh, the cheaper versions of these sort of things you'll get off the internet let's say. You'll get them, you'll give it a tug and the webbing will slide all the way through. But these don't do that, they take plenty of pulling, just brilliant. And if you only need one but a longer one, you just attach the two together and now you've got up to a 1.6 meter webbing strap. The actual strap itself is one inch wide or 25 millimeters. I like this bit here where they've got the fold over. So when you put it through the webbing, it holds onto the webbing and it doesn't slip out as you're walking. So it keeps your webbing nice and tidy on your pack here. That's a, a little bit I do like. It can be a pain when you're pulling your webbing back out to adjust it, but just remember that's there, just underneath. No problem at all. Comes in two different colors. They come in green and they come in black. And what I do like about these is they've got the same actual pattern as the webbing on the pack it actually is the same material so the strength of these is the same as the strength of your molly webbing or your powers webbing whatever you want to call it on your pack so it's not going to let you down either of them now the first way i'm going to show to attach the fdf is on the top here because on top of the pack we've got three rows of molly webbing and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six columns on each row. And I'm going to sit it on the second and the fifth one. So it's center, it's not on the outside. You can put it on the outside if you want to give it wider, but that's easy there. Now, the easiest way to get this through is to undo the webbing, put it all the way through, then reattach it to the buckle, because as you can see there, it's not going to go. So that's just easy to do. Take the strap out, push that down, again strap out, run the strap through, and then reattach it to the buckle. So now you've got the two straps connected to the top of the pack. So just nice and comfortably center it, bring the buckle around, first one on, grab the second buckle, give it a tuck, a tuck, tug I mean, and there it is securely on the top of your pack, so that's going nowhere. And the reason why I put it through the second and fourth one it still gives me access to the adjusters on the lid here which goes through the first and the sixth one so I just drop that down give it a tug push that through 
and I can still use the raised lid. So let's put that back up because I'm going to be using that now. Second way of attaching your bed roll to your sleep mat or to your bag. Sorry about that, to your backpack. Let's just tidy this up a moment. It's just by putting it under your lid if you've got the space. Now, I have room here. I've got more than enough room because we've got the adjustment on this which will lift the lid up by about six inches, maybe a little bit more. So again, put the bed, bed roll in, or the sleep mat. But instead of just pushing it down, get your side flaps here and tuck them underneath, out of the way, neat and tidy. And do the actual main buckles up. I should loosen that one a bit. And again, nice and secure, not going to come out as you're walking. So there's two different ways there already. Third way, without using the straps, just using the webbing on the actual pack itself. So first thing I'll do, undo that and lengthen the strap. Same on the bottom, undo that one. Just pull that out. And then lengthen the strap itself. Sit it on the side of it. And again, just bring your strap around. Give it a bit of squeeze and do that up. And then the bottom one, which I found easier, was if I put my pack on its side when I did this. Just push it down. And then just give the web in a tug. And it's attached to the side. So doing it this way if you wanted to, you can have another pouch on here with some of your gear in just to balance the weight off and carry extra. So now that's three different ways. You've got on top using the straps, under the lid, and using the compression straps on the side. And as you can see, we've got spare here. So if my pack was a bit more tightly packed, I'd still have room to attach it to the pack. Now the next way I'm going to show you is by using these webbing straps that hold the lid down. But we're going to have to adjust them a bit. So I'm going to have to loosen them up. Again, push up flap in. All the way up. Again with this one. That was already out. And then we've got the two loops at the bottom. There. Now if I remember, I've actually got to pass these through a couple to allow me to have a little bit extra. So now, to show you that, I've undone the actual strap from these top three webbing and just left it in the bottom two. And that gives us enough room to pull the webbing all the way through down to that second row of molly. Let's pull that a little bit more, it's better. So we've got plenty of space. So the pack. Go at the back, down at the bottom. Or your sleep mat, again. And just give it a tug. So there's the next way 
we've got the two rows of molly at the bottom which have allowed the uh, strap to come through so we've still got room for it to connect on here and hold this to the pack and just give this a tug down to tighten it up and now we've got the actual sleep roll or the sleep mat on the back at the bottom it is going to pull back gently but because it's low down it's not going to be as bad as if it was here pulling you over higher and the advantage of having this here uh, some of you may know if you've strapped stuff to the bottom this isn't going to be bouncing and hitting your ass or the back of your legs as you go now the next way we can attach it to it is by pulling the webbing through the bottom here and attaching it to the bottom of the pack now you couldn't do an extra one here or here just so it comes straight from the back or you can use it straight between the actual attachment points we've got on the bottom for adding it more straps yeah. now this one's slightly tighter doing it this way a bit more awkward to get in but we can still get it in there so now we've got it through the straps at the bottom and just like, bring the lid down and buckle it back up now the advantage of putting it through these webbing points on the bottom is when you are walking the pack is actually centered the uh, sleep mat is centered here and it's being held in place a lot more we're still going to get a bit of movement with this but it's not going to be hitting your ass as bad as if you'd actually use the straps on them to, uh, attachment points on the bottom because that would have allowed it to be moving a lot more so this is a lot tighter e uh, not as easy to do because it's awkward to get in but it works so there you are another way of attaching it to your pack so what's that one two three four five different ways of attaching your bedroll onto your pack or any other thing you want to carry in the same way so i hope you've enjoyed this video and you've just got a rough idea of how we can lash things to the actual Savato Yakri medium size pack and how well the fdf actually fits on each section where uh, you can strap things to it uh, if you've enjoyed the video and not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and click the like button the thumbs up and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much